So now let's look at some more centripetal force problems. We got a little taste of it in the previous uh, problems that had centripetal acceleration, but now we're going to do more free body diagrams and looking at centripetal force. So I have a 22 kilogram child is riding in a playground merry-go-round that is rotating at 40 revolutions per minute. What centripetal force must be she exert to stay on if she is 1.25 meters from the center? Well, in order to stay on, she would need to at least maintain the centripetal acceleration. So the force she has to apply has to equal to the um, mass times the centripetal acceleration. So her mass, and then this is m, um, I'm going to use, you can use v squared over r, or you can use m r omega squared. Either formulation is fine. In this case, because they gave you the angular rotation, it's just easier to use this form. Okay, so uh, I know mass, I know r. Um, what I don't know is omega exactly, because they're giving me this 40 revolutions per minute. And again, we're going to use our dimensional analysis to say that um, I want radians, I want to make it radians per second. So I want radians on the top, so I need the revolutions to cancel. That's two pi radians in one revolution. And then I need seconds on the bottom. That means minutes have to be on the top to cancel with these minutes. And one minute is 60 seconds. So. 40 times 2 pi divided by 60. And that gives me 4.19 uh, radians per second. And so then I plug into here, so the centripetal, we call this centripetal force. I don't really like that terminology, but it's the mass, which is 22, times the radius, which is 1.25 times 4.19 squared. get 483 newtons. What centripetal force does she need to stay on amusement park merry-go-round that rotates at this velocity when she is that far from the center? Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same equation. It's gonna be 22 times, instead of 1.25 it's gonna be uh, 8 meters, but the angular velocity is gonna be um, this 3 revolutions per minute times 2 pi times 1 over 60 squared. So I'm just kind of using the exact same formulation I did just with different numbers. It's so 22 times 8 times 2 pi divided by 60 and then I square that. Um, 17.4 newtons. So here she doesn't need nearly as much force to stay on because it's she's further away and it's rotating very slowly. And then her weight is equal to mg that's 22 times 9.8. It's like a 216 newtons. So she used to exert a significant force for this one because this is going really fast. Okay. What's the ideal banking angle for a gentle turn of a 1.2 kilometer radius on a highway with 105 kilometers per hour speed limit, about 65 miles an hour, assuming everyone travels at the limit? Okay, so we're talking about not uh, assuming no friction here because they didn't give us any friction no friction that's usually a fair assumption um, when you're doing like this so let's let's talk about it this is these are kind of hard to draw um, so really you the way you draw these is you're kind of head on to the car It's not that it's going this way. Uh, I didn't draw it like here. Here's the windshield up front, right? And these are the headlights. Okay, so it's it's more like you're looking at it head on, and it's it's coming around you. Okay. So let's draw the free body diagram. Okay. So all the forces acting on it. We'll draw the forces in orange just to change it up a little bit. I got mg going down on it. I got the normal force exerted on that. Okay. Now there is a net force in this scenario, right? Except the difference is because we're moving, we're not going to slide down the ramp. We're going to have a net force uh, in in the x direction that um, um, that will be the um, centripetal force. So if I sum these two forces together, it's going to add up to be a force in the x direction because it's not accelerating in the y direction. It's just going to accelerate in the x direction. And that acceleration will be centripetal acceleration. OK. So um, yeah, actually, it's, it's along the ramp. So again, we're going to sort of set up our axes. I'm going to say 
this is the x axis and this is the y axis okay that's the general setup positive x direction and so we're going to break up the components of this vector into its x and y directions like we do with all planes or uh, pl uh, inclined planes and this is theta and so this portion of it similarly this is theta and so this is going to be mg sine theta this can be mg cosine theta and if you had friction you would include friction on this diagram but we don't have friction so the centripetal acceleration is just this portion because the these parts cancel out because it's not moving up and down the ramp okay or accelerating in that direction so we would have say the net acceleration in the x direction is equal to mg sine theta and net force always equals ma but the kind of acceleration it's feeling is centripetal acceleration in this case and that's m uh, v squared over r now that these cancel and I'll have sine theta is equal to v squared over gr okay and so theta I can do a sine inverse of whatever this is but let's compute what this so theta is going to be sine inverse of v squared over gr now the problem is is um, I have everything I know r uh, I know g um, it's just these are in kilometers per hour so I need everything in meters per second so I have to do a little bit of conversion so for V um, this, so this is gonna be sine inverse instead of V I'm going to do is it, for V squared it's gonna be 105 kilometers per hour I want to convert this to meters per second so I'm gonna I need meters on the top so I need a thousand meters for one kilometer and then I need seconds on the bottom and hours on the top so one hour is 3,600 seconds. Okay, so that's my V, and I'm gonna square that, divided by G, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, and then R, which is 1.2 kilometers, um, but it's actually gonna be 1,200 meters. Okay, so I'm gonna do all of this. Sine inverse of 105, 1,000 divided by 3,600 squared, divided by 9.8, times 1200 and then inverse sine of that I get theta is equal to 4.15 degrees okay thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video I go through a lot more of these exact kinds of problems with much longer videos uh, on my website it's entirely free check out the link in the description below